out for a couple days of hunting. First spot I went to had some muzzleloader hunters. Not gonna ruin their hunt. So I came to a spot I haven't hunted yet this year. See how it goes. I'm sure other people have hunted this spot, but I'm sure there's birds here too. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna get after it. So about a half hour into the first walk, Oliver goes on point on the edge of these cattails here with Shiloh back in. Oh, oh. Got him. Hunt dead. Hunt dead. Good job, Ollie. Nice point, buddy. Bring me that bird. Come on, Shaz. Good boy, Ollie. There you go. Go, girl, Shaz. Go, girl. All right. There you go. Well, that starts the morning. Nice point by both Oliver and uh, Shiloh. Shiloh got that point, and then Oliver was backing her. Beautiful. And another really good point by Oliver right here. Yep, Oliver's on point. I knew it. Gotta be a bird in here. Good boy. Good boy, Ollie. Who we got? Okay. That's my... Good boy, Oliver. Man, are you a machine this year, kid. Hunt dad, Shies. Hunt dad. Good girl, Shies. Good girl. Good boy, Ali. Nice job, Ali. There we go. Man, they're just such a beautiful bird, aren't they? Boy, that Oliver is just turning into a, a machine this year. Really good morning. That was a lot of fun. Ended up with a mature rooster and, and one of this year's roosters, so. So the morning started out great. Two shots, two birds. And then I took a little trip over to the grouse woods. And let's just say um, it humbled me just a tad. So rather than show you every single flush that I had, because I had a lot in a four hour period, there's a lot of birds around this year. Uh, I'm going to show you the low lights as I call them and a compilation of my misses here. This one I actually thought I got for a second. But, upon further review... Let's go just a little bit further. Just to make sure. that question. Damn it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh, even though you miss these birds. 
Man, are they a lot of fun. How did I miss that? And every once in a while, even a blind squirrel finds a nut. That one I think I got. Come on, Shies. Bring that bird here, Shies. Come on. Come on, kid. Come on, Shies. Come on, Shies. Bring it here, Shies. Shies. Here. Well, there we go. At least I got on one. Shies, I think that was the worst retrieve I've ever seen you do. But at least you brought it back to me out here. There is that. All right. And there goes another one. Well, had I been paying attention, I might have got that one too. Well, I ended up with one anyway. Beautiful girls. Michael Jordan always said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? And sometimes you miss 100% of the shots you do take. Well, 99.5, I at least got one. Brutal. Oh, Shiloh. The next morning started with a really nice point from Shiloh here. Oliver comes in from the right to back. Oh, Shiloh. That's him up. Nice job, Shiloh. Hunt dead. Good girl, good girl. There we go. All right, that was a nice start to the morning. You know, I, I actually could see this when Shiloh was pointing it in this little bush here. I could see this bird in that bush right there. And hopefully I got that on film because I was looking right down at it while I was sitting in there and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that. We'll see. Couldn't see the bird all that well, unfortunately. It's hard to believe, a little over 100 years ago, there was 18 million acres of native prairie in Minnesota, and now we're down to 250,000. I'm hopeful that the National Grassland Act does go through. Whoa, oh, Ali. Oliver with a decent point on a hen here. Hand. Hand. Good job, Oliver. Nice job, kid. We ended up seeing a fair amount of birds the rest of the day, but my shooting woes continued from the day before. Sometimes when you go back and forth between grouse and pheasants, you got to realize you got a little bit more time on a pheasant than you do a grouse. Don't have to snap shoot so quick. Hand. Good job, Shiloh. Good job. Ended up with two more opportunities, but didn't get either one of them. Uh, this one was a pretty tough shot in the willows, uh, as well as the second one.
a lot of fun with the dogs over the last couple of days. Very thankful that we have these public places that we can go out and do these things with the Good boy. Good boy, Holly. Who's that? Okay.